I don't want to be a burden. She is your daughter. Your family. She loves you. They all love you. Dorian Cassie. You've got a grandson that would... He just wants to meet you. Complications, David. What, what exactly did you mean by that? Oh, there you are. Dorian, uh, what, what, uh, what is it? Andrew, not you, him. Oh, dear sir, I am so sorry. I'm here to apologize for, for my behavior last night. I had no idea that this is how you communicate. I thought... <laughs> I thought it was a computer game. I I'm so sorry. Please say that you forgive me. I do. just last fall. He sounded fine. I mean, he had some difficulty speaking. Yes, but I assume that was because of his accident. He didn't give me a hint of any of this. He didn't want you to know. He didn't want anyone to know, especially Cassie. Well, that's not fair. She loves him. And he loves her. But he doesn't want to be a burden to anyone. I believe he's checked himself into this hospital so that he can be close to her life. That's why he's in the assisted wing here. Cassie will never forgive me if I don't tell her that he's here. I, I think you have to respect his decision. She's his daughter and she has a right to know. No. No. David, please. You've got a daughter. How can you not allow her to love you and to give you some support through all of this? She's a beautiful young woman. 
inside and out. And, and she has just been dying to see you again. And, and you've got a grandchild. I mean, don't you want to get to know him? It's not fair. What you're doing isn't fair. It's my decision. Well, you can unmake it. <laughs> for Cassie's sake, and for your sake, and for my sake, David, I want to help. You can help by going away. <laughs> Even in this condition, you're incorrigible. I'm sorry, look, I know how hard this must be for you, but so is what you're asking me. I, I can't lie and cover up to my daughter. Okay, that probably sounds rather amusing to you, but I've changed. I can assure you, I really have changed enormously. It just, just a few days ago, when I was on what seemed to be my deathbed, Kathy talked to me about about our broken family, about my leaving her. Do you know that she's worried that she has done the same thing to her own child? And I did something very selfish last year when I asked you not to see her, when I kept the two of you apart. And I don't know if I can just do something to undo the damage that's been done. Please, please let me tell her that you're here. I went with you, ass. Let me do it again. Please. Mother, mother! I have been looking everywhere in this hospital for you. Your doctor is in your room. Hello, Andrew, I'm sorry. Come on, we gotta go. Kathy? Yeah. Come. Yes, you're right. It's time to leave. I'm sorry. I just I'm had sorry. to get back. I have to get to the police station. The story could break at any time.